well, my name is Tem Yimjali. I was born in Durban in KwaZulu Natal, and but I've lived most of my life in, in Johannesburg, which is where is the hub of the arts. You know, that's where television is and radios and and and, and money. <laughs> but now I live in Cape Town. A woman in waiting um, is based on my life story. It's, it's, it's when I was in, in I was living in Washington D.C. at that time, and um, another a colleague, Yael Faba, who was in, in New York, and she she wanted to do because now it was 1999. She wanted to tell the story of, of women in South Africa how. Women have always been have always been waiting for something, and at that time I also was well, wanted to tell my own story at that time because I felt my story um, could could be a voice for for all the other women who have been through what I, I, I went through. So when Yael came with this idea of wanting to tell a story about women in waiting, and I just said. You know, I will feel comfortable to tell my story because I know through telling my story, I'm telling the story of my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, you know, all other women who have been through this, you know, the same experiences. Um, it's, it's, it's just thought-provoking um, things. Uh, you know, and, and especially um, white white women who have, like South Africa, most most uh, white people have, have been looked after by black mothers one way or the other, and some some of them would say would cry and say, oh, you know, when I was watching your story, I remember the woman who looked after me, and I don't even know where she is now, and and and. The mothers would say, oh my God, I know I have so and so always looking after my children, but I never even thought to ask about her own children. And well, I would say um, two things. The young people, because um, you know, you know I, have, I have grandchildren now, and I want them to know where they come from. And even for my grandchildren now, when I because we call them the bone freeze, you know, but, you know, they have to understand where, what, what people sacrifice for them to, to be free, to, to, to be the bone freeze, so that they can appreciate where they are now. So I think that is very important.